Student engagement is when students feel comfortable responding to the teacher, which can happen when the teacher also has strong individual relationships with the student. Student engagement is when both the teacher and student get something out of the class, so the student should be willing to learn from the teacher as well as the teacher willing to learn from the student. To me, student engagement is the teacher actually talking to you as a student rather than just a picture on a screen. And when the teacher, you feel that the teacher actually cares for you as a person. To me, student engagement is more than simply making sure that your students' cameras are on. Um, a lot of times in class, it's not easy for us to stay attentive. Um, due to the fact that we're learning from home, there's distractions everywhere. And if we have questions about the lesson, it's not always easy for us to verbally express them. Um, because we haven't met these um, classmates that we have now because of distant learning. Um, but making sure the student is actually engaged in a lesson um, and that the lesson's fun, just as exciting as fun as it would have been if we were in school, um, really overall helps with the comprehension of the lesson and most importantly makes the students genuinely look forward to the class the next day. Student engagement means creating a safe environment that fosters constructive dialogue among students and with educators. I feel most engaged when attending class feels like a two-way relationship wherein students are able to interact with others and the instructor rather than simply listening to a long lecture with zero collaboration. Collaboration can take form in custom breakout rooms and low pressure class by discussions. I believe emphasizing understanding over grades could encourage a low pressure environment that allows students to speak up and fail unapologetically, creating opportunities for learning and growth. Student engagement is teachers and students coming together to create a comfortable environment and setting in the virtual classroom to where students feel comfortable, um, not nervous, not intimidated to share with the class, whether it be through chat, by openly sharing with the class, through breakout rooms. Um, and I think that's a very important aspect of the learning, but it's not always through the course material. I think another form of student engagement is asking how they feel about the pace of the course, asking how they are mentally, asking how their weekend is, and creating good relationships between the students and the teachers. But I don't believe that all of that should be done via Zoom. I think some students are always going to be comfortable sharing their opinions, their thoughts on assignments, how they feel in life. Um, they're going to be fine sharing that through Zoom, but there are some students who aren't going to be comfortable with that and would prefer a Google form sent out or just one text from directly from the teacher to the student. And I think things like that are going to uh, improve relationships between students and teachers and students between other students. Student engagement to me is most strongly encouraged by when teachers actively try to make a good relationship with their students. This can be done by many things like telling a short story about yourself, asking students questions like how their weekend was, just little things like that. Also, it's helpful when we're able to communicate with our classmates, um, like talking to them in the chat or just unmuting and talking to each other, allowing us to build relationships with them as well. Um, strengthening this, these relationships helps us feel more comfortable in class answering or asking questions and will overall just improve our engagement in the lesson. When asked what student engagement means, I would say that student engagement means that the student is interested in what they're doing and is not like halfway asleep and is willing to participate. And this could be achieved by like the environment being very open and that the student feels comfortable enough to talk in the class. Therefore, like a teacher could start this by like <clears throat> following through with the student and walking them through rather than just asking the question and not saying anything. Give the student little um, hints and let them follow it step by step if they don't actually know the answer. Therefore, they could be engaged when like they speak and it helps the class move and progress further. I like it best when my teachers do frequent check-ins on how we're doing overall, like how we feel about the workload and how our mental health is and things of those sorts. Um, I think a lot of the time it's, 
it's a little difficult juggling all of the work and our mental health at the same time. And sometimes we forget to take care of ourselves um, as well as focus on our schoolwork. And so when teachers do these check-ins, it helps us know that they care and it reminds us that we do need to take care of ourselves. I appreciate teachers who make themselves approachable for critique, specifically those who make it a point to make themselves available when something isn't working out. I think Google surveys are a great way to reach out to students and get feedback on topics from mental health check-ins to thoughts on academic pacing and structure of a class. Improving communication between instructors and students is more crucial than ever because it's way too easy to disassociate and misinterpret progress, potentially allowing students to slip through the cracks. In class, I think I enjoy it best when teachers provide variety among what we do in the class and it's not all lecturing, all independent work, but when you combine different things, I think that it helps um, the students be more focused overall. Um, like for example, in one of my classes, we'll start off with a warm up, and then the teacher will go on and we'll talk about the subject material material for the day. And then at the end, we do a kahoot on the material we've either just learned or have been learning for the past couple of days. And it's just, it's a good way that gets everyone involved to where it's not super uncomfortable um, and it just helps us stay focused and motivated and it helps us want to actually do our work. It makes us want to speak out in class when we're actually looking forward to enjoying what we're doing in class and just overall know what's going on because I think when the class is focused on doing one thing the entire time, it's hard to want to be involved. It's hard to know what's going on and stay focused. And so I think having more variety during class time is what I enjoy best. Personally, one of my favorite things a teacher can do through virtual learning is genuinely check up on how their students are doing. Um, I have one teacher in specific who has a Google form that we fill out every so often. And the questions on there, however basic they may be, um, really have an impact personally um, to know that a teacher is out there caring um, about how we're doing with the workload and modifying it need be. Uh, because it's not easy always doing virtual learning, but to know that our teachers are right there on the same side as us and they're trying to help us throughout the whole thing, it really means a lot. And I like it most when my teachers check up, like check up on me, like how I'm doing in the class and in life. Um, it just makes you feel that you're cared for. I like it best in class when my teacher gives me notes. I work really well with notes, as well as my teacher doing some kind of check-in. It doesn't have to be talking. It can be over like a form or something, just so that they know how to best work with me and teach me over the next week or period of time. In class, I like it best when teachers understand that we are under a lot of stress, especially because we are experiencing a pandemic, online learning, and so much more. It makes me feel understood and cared about when my teachers limit the amount of work they give us so that I can have time to focus on my mental health and just to have time to look away from a screen because that is increasingly important during these times.